On brothers and sisters, the Conservative Party suspended Christian counsellor for calling pride a sin. Uh, the world we're living in where if you quote the Bible, you're in trouble, big trouble. Listen to how much trouble this guy got into. Uh, they were accused, the Conservative Party, of using cancel culture after the counsellor was suspended for expressing the Christian belief that pride is a sin on social media. King Lawal, a Northamptonshire councillor, claimed that the Conservative campaign headquarters was behind the decision to suspend him over a post on Twitter on which he criticised the radical LGBTQ plus pride movement from a Christian perspective. In the now deleted post, I don't know why he deleted it, um, responding to images of pride parades, Lawal said the following, When did pride become a thing to celebrate? Because of pride, Satan fell as an archangel. Pride is not a virtue, but a sin. Those who have pride should repent of their sins and return to Jesus Christ. He can save you. All of those things are a fact. The post included an image with the biblical verse Isaiah 3 verse 9 saying, Whatever God calls sin is nothing to be proud of. All right, brilliant. Love it. In addition to being suspended by the Conservatives, Lawal said he was also forced to resign from his job in the nursing business. He was removed as a trustee from an organization helping children experience nature. The councillor was also suspended as a member of the Weavers Academy Secondary School in Wellingborough. And on top of that, his local library prohibited him from hosting a meeting with his constituents. The councillor claimed the suspensions demonstrated that the United Kingdom is no longer a free country for Christians to express biblical beliefs. Speaking to the Telegraph, he said it is now almost impossible to say something biblically truthful on sexual ethics in the UK society without being cancelled and having your life ruined. Hectic the drive against Christianity, against the Bible, and against the truth. And though it might seem like his life's ruined, he stood up for Jesus Christ, and he just needs to remember that God sees this, and he will stand up for you in front of the Father in heaven. Confess me before man. And we confess him before man, and we stand proudly on his truth, and we will shine that light until we are no longer here to shine it. And when that light leaves, this world's going to be even darker if you can even imagine such a world. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.